Unit 13. Analysis. On the other hand, living together in human society often requires restraining aggressive behavior. From an evolutionary perspective, aggression can be viewed as adaptive behavior, at least in some situations. For instance, competition for desirable mates is often intense, and one way to win in such contests is through aggression against potential rivals. So, especially for males, strong tendencies to aggress against others can yield beneficial outcomes. Being aggressive to others in response to every provocation is definitely not adaptive and can greatly disrupt social life. For this reason, it is clear that we possess effective internal mechanisms for restraining anger and obvious aggression. Such mechanisms are described by the term self regulation or self control and refer to our capacity to regulate many aspects of our own behavior, including aggression. Practice 1. But none of these habits can make you happy all the time because your brain doesn't work that way. Many people have habits that are bad for survival. How does that happen if our brain rewards behaviors that are good for survival? When a happy chemical spurt is over, you feel like something is wrong. You look for a reliable way to feel good again fast. Anything that worked before has built a pathway in your brain. We all have such happy habits, from snacking to exercising, whether it's spending or saving, partying or solitude, arguing or making up. Every happy chemical spurt is quickly metabolized, and you have to do more to get more. You can end up overdoing a happy habit to the point of unhappiness. 2. More milk per cow leads to less pressure on grazing lands and more room for wildlife. Biotechnology opens up the possibility of creating the plant, animal, and human environments in which we would like to live. Plants can be built that resist diseases without pesticides, use less water, and produce more edible food. Similar improvements are occurring in animals. When it comes to improving humans, the process will start by eliminating genetic diseases and move on to building better, smarter, taller, more beautiful men and women. The biotech processes for curing existing diseases are dual-use technologies. The same techniques that allow genetic defects, very inferior genes, to be eliminated allow the replacement of slightly inferior genes with superior ones. 3. But even if the possibility of closing could be ruled out with certainty, it is doubtful that a store would find it advantageous to purchase doors without locks. Many convenience stores are open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Since they never lock their doors, why do they bother to install doors with locks on them? It is always possible, of course, that an emergency could force such a store to close at least briefly. In the wake of Hurricane Katrina, for example, residents of New Orleans were forced to evacuate with little notice. The vast majority of industrial doors are sold to establishments that are not open 24 hours a day. These establishments have obvious reasons for wanting locks on their doors. So, given that most industrial doors are sold with locks, it is probably cheaper to make all doors the same way.